This documentary will be looking at a number of projects in Udu local government area of Delta State. The first project we looked at was the Udu Bridge. The Udu Bridge links Wari South LGA and Uwe LGA to Udu local government area. From what you can find in the video, the bridge has been left unattended to and you can see the unsafe nature of the bridge. The railings are missing in some places, the road is uneven and there are a number of potholes on the bridge. We need to realize and take into cognizance that the safety of motorists and pedestrians is paramount and something urgent has to be done about putting this bridge in a safe situation. The next project we looked at in Udu local government area is the Delta State Steel Complex Alaja. Now this steel complex currently bears the name Premium Steel and Mines Limited. DSC is one of the national assets sold by the PDP-led government in a fraudulent privatization exercise headed by Alaji Atiku Abubakar whilst he was the vice president. In the heydays of DSC, it employed a number of workers of various cadres. The place currently is empty and has desolate surroundings. The DSC steel complex was first sold to Global Infrastructure Nigeria Limited and later to Premium Steel and Mines Limited. When DSC was commissioned by late Shehu Yaradwa in 1980, it was hailed as one of the largest steel plants in the African continent, but that is now history. But hope is not lost. The government of Senator Ovie Omar Gege come 2023 in collaboration with the federal government will bring back DSE to light. The same way the Ajokuta Steel Complex has been reacquired by the federal government. The federal government will look at all encumbrances on the project and do the needful by ensuring that the Delta Steel Complex Alaja is brought to life and the needed employment it will generate will benefit the economy of the state. We all know that iron and steel are strategic materials needed to drive our quest for industrialization and economic force. In that regard, therefore, DSE will be revived to lead the industrialization quest of Delta State under the leadership of Senator Ovi Omar Gege as the governor and Friday Osanebi as his deputy. Our next port of call was the Delta State Leisure Park Oleri. This project was meant to be a private driven venture with the state government having to provide only the bridge and access road to the facility now the bridge that was constructed as you can see for yourself is in bad shape as the gaps between the slabs is opening wide you can see the bad road that we are driving on to the side this road was awarded and was abandoned within the era of the governor Emmanuel Owota Odwara's regime. How a government can abandon such a project that would have brought tourism to the local community and the visit of tourists to the site would have led to the boost of the economy of Udu LGA baffles most deltans. Now you can see from the videos that some of the structures are currently being used as schools. The fence of the resort is still in place. You can see the number of abandoned projects on site. This shows that PDP does not have the capacity to develop Delta State. Now alongside the Delta Leisure Destination Park Oleri, the same company, Sena UK Limited, was also awarded the Wildlife Park Oguashuku. 
Now at inception and the signing of M MOU, Siena UK Limited was meant to invest 250 million naira in the project. Why is the state government, as I said earlier, was to construct the road and bridge to the Olori Park valued at about 1.8 billion naira. From our research, we found out that the following budgetary allocations were made to the project. In 2014, 2 billion naira. In 2015, 500 million naira, bringing it to a total of 2.5 billion. In 2014, we voiced our concerns about the financial capacity of Sena Limited UK. From our investigation in the UK in 2011, we found out that the Sena Limited annual budget of 2010 showed that they had a net asset liability of 318,531 pounds and a total bank balance of 3,083 pounds. From the foregoing, therefore, the failure of the two projects, that is, Delta Legio Destination Park Oluri and the Wildlife Park Oguashuku, is not a surprise to us as we know that the lack of financial capacity by the company in question would not lead to the completion of those two projects. This, therefore, has led to the state government wasting over 3 billion naira on those projects. That is not good enough and things have to be turned around in this case. The fourth project we looked at is the Otoudu, Erehuyo, Oworokpokpo, Orode and Oruwenu Road. This road is a turn off from the Udu CEN Road. From what you can find in the video and from the information got into those who took us round informed us that this project has been left unattended for the past 25 years. Now you can see the surface of the road and it is almost impassable during the raining season. When we got to the end of the road at uh, Orode, we could not assess Oruguenu, which is about 1.5 kilometers from the point where the road ended at uh, Orode. The Oruguen road from Orode is unpassable and something urgent has to be done. How four communities are left to suffer in this way by a government is a concern to us. Now, our concern also is as a result of the various budgetary allocations we found on road construction in Udu LG. In 2016, 230 million naira was budgeted for the construction of internal roads in Udu. In 2016 to 2019, 4.6 billion was allocated to construction of roads in Wari and its environs and Udu is within the environs of Wari. Again in 2019, we found out that 400 million naira was budgeted for the construction of Oruguenu Township Road. Then again, we had another budget heading of roads, construction of roads in Delta Central, which came to a total of 8.1 billion between 2019 and 2022. Then we also had another 500 million in 2022 budgeted for the construction of internal roads in Udu LGA. With all these budgetary allocations for road construction, one begins to wonder why the Otoudu, Erefio, Urupopo, Orode, and the Orube Road, which is less than five kilometers in total, has been left in the state for this period. This is not good enough and something urgent has to be done to bring development to the people of the communities that we've mentioned. Therefore, this road is going to be one of the top priorities of the Senator Ovi Omo Agege's led government come 2023. The last project we looked at, although we do not have video documentaries on it, is the Udu Harbour Market around the Udu Bridge. 
to date the delta state government has spent approximately 940 million naira on the construction of the udu harbor market and has not still been completed to date one believes that 940 million naira which is about a billion naira should be enough to construct a market but how the government uses such money if left for deltans to investigate the budgetary allocations to the Udu Harbour market over the years are as follows. In 2018, 300 million was allocated. In 2019, 440 million was allocated. In 2021, 200 million was allocated, bringing it to a total of 940 million. We believe that if the government of Delta State under the PDP meant well for the people of Udu, this market would have long been completed. To summarize, therefore, from all the projects we've looked at that to do, especially the roads and the steel complex that has been left to be dormant over the years, the Senator Ovio Omar again led government at the helm of affairs as governor and right honorable Friday Osanebi as his deputy. The development of the state would be uniform and all abandoned projects will be given due attention and areas that have not been uh, reached by developmental strides of the state would need the necessary development especially in road construction deltans it is time to look the other way from pdp that has been in power for almost 24 years and from this video, if this is their best, then their best is not good enough for Deltans. Festo is therefore a product of profound thought, based on my practical experiences, both in the executive and legislative arms of government. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come up with a 60 page manifesto anchored on the edge to build a new Delta. But edge covers critical areas of governance that will drive our agenda when elected governor in 2023. The manifesto is our vision and mission. It captures our edge agenda, which brings us as E for employment and empowerment, D for development, economic, infrastructure and industrial, G for good governance, and E for enduring peace and security. The Edge Agenda sums up our people's goals and aspirations for economic stability, sustainable employment, security, access to modern public infrastructure, solid institutions and clean environment. It is strategically organized to make us a model state and a leading center of excellence. With Edge, we bring credibility, efficiency and trust back to governance. It is the ultimate paradigm shift to reform our public service, cut the cost of governance, eliminate waste and deny corruption and other crimes, comfort and safety in our governance architecture. Edge Agenda is our firm promise and is success.